Hello Libra and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Jen with Bohemian Path Tarot and it's time for November readings. I've got the Star Maiden Tarot deck here this time and as always these are general tarot readings for a general Libra audience. So that means we'll talk about whatever comes up, love, relationships, <laughs> job, um, family stuff, or uh, what have you, whatever comes up. And um, it's not quite the same as a one-to-one -one reading, right? It's uh, a bunch of different Librans are going to be popping in, so um, I'll do my best to kind of offer different scenarios for different Librans. It might really resonate with you this month. It might resonate a little bit here and there. It might resonate a little later in the month because it might be predictive, so you might not totally recognize it now, but um, the predictions might kind of fall into place later in the month. Or one of your other placements might really resonate with you. So be sure to check out the videos for your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign. Um, but uh, if it's not super resonant, just take what does resonate and leave the rest. Or, you know, don't. Um, these, uh, these readings are meant for support or entertainment. I offer them with love, but the cards do not compel you to take the advice. So if it just doesn't feel right or if it doesn't feel good, know that I send you off with my love and support and feel free to check back anytime, but you are not required to take the messages or the advice. So with that said, let me go ahead and give the deck a really good shuffle for you. And um, if you've been here before, you know that I uh, fast forward the video over the shuffling part. I don't like to chit chat over that. So I will catch up with you as I start to lay out the cards. I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, Libra, let's see what we've got. The Six of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. You have a very Thanksgiving reading here, if I do say so myself. <laughs> And my apologies to any non-U.S. residents. I'll explain myself. So, um, the Seven of Pentacles is that moment uh, where you've been sort of toiling in the garden. And you can see buds and you can see uh, growth. You can see... Um, you know, little um, shoots and uh, you can see growth in your garden, but it hasn't yet fully blossomed. The harvest isn't ready and it's starting to feel like, is it ever going to fully mature? Am I ever going to be able to, to make this harvest? It's starting to feel like more work than it's worth. But this is that moment where it's like, just keep at it. The, the inherent advice here in the Seven of Pentacles is you are just like a day away from the harvest. Don't give up. Just keep, um, just keep at it. You're nearly there. Um, I always, I, I always think of Mr. Miyagi, and this might be too much of an 80s reference for some folks, but for any like Gen X kids who, uh, who might be watching, you know, the wax on, wax off. Um, it's, a, it's a reference to um, an 80s movie where the karate kid used to have, 
you know, wanted to learn how to be a karate genius, basically. And he went to this wise man to learn how to do karate. And basically the karate guru had him doing chores around the house, wax on, wax off. But he was basically having him doing like chores, like waxing his car and all this kind of stuff. And it felt really, really stupid to the kid. After a while, he's like, he's just, I'm just like a slave to this guy. He's just having me polish his car, wax on, wax off. And it was like really st stupidly, like the way he had him wax his car was really stupid and specific. And after a while, he got really frustrated. And, you know, flash forward and you realize the way he was having him wax the car, he was building a very specific kind of muscle. And he was actually like, that was a way, that was a karate move, you know, spoiler alert. Sorry if I'm ruining Karate Kid for anybody. But he actually built muscle and became a, a kind of a karate genius with these stupid chores. He also got a really nice, well-polished car that guru did but um, these chores that he was doing in these very anal very particular very specific chores um, that felt like more work than they were worth um, made in the end made this karate kid or karate genius because there were no shortcuts you know there that to be the karate genius and to get to where this kid wanted to go, he had to do it kind of the hard way. So that's what this card is all about. Um, you're not doing, um, you're not doing the shortcuts. You're doing things the right way to get the harvest that you want. So just keep that in mind, you know. And so even though it might feel like wherever you're at, you're in that moment where you might feel like you're doing too much wax on, wax off, but you know um, you're doing, you're building muscles, you're doing the thing, the right thing, the right way, and you're going to get to the place and be the specialist you want to be in the end, whatever it is. Seven of pe um, Pentacles can apply to a number of different uh, areas in your life specifically with regard to your stability. It could be specifically to your day job, but it could also be to a side hustle, to um, being in college if you've gone back to school or um, any sort of program where you're maybe learning how to better put away money, um, put away your savings, tax laws, if you're saving up to buy a house, if you're learning any kind of a new skill that will help you with your stability, if you're building a YouTube channel or an Etsy store, anything that will help you, you know, kind of bring in a little bit of money on the side. Um, any classes that you can take that will help contribute to fluffing up your resume as you start a new job search or as you ask for a promotion, anything like that. Um, this is the kind of uh, thing that is well supported with the Seven of Pentacles, that those little extras, that little extra work you do that helps make you a better employee, uh, a more solid, stable, uh, grounded, reliable earner, contributor, and all the little things you're doing here and there. And it's going to be different for different Libras, right? Whatever is accurate for whether you're a student or in kind of a nine to five or doing the thing where you've got a day job and maybe night school or a day job in an artistic career, whatever it is, all these little things you're doing to contribute to your stability, to your family's stability or to whatever comes next, your harvest is coming. Your harvest is right around the corner. You're building the right muscles. You're tending to the plants the right way. You're giving your garden the care it needs. 
so don't give up. The next card we see here is the Six of Cups, which is such a charming card. Um, it is a card about connections. It is a card about feeling seen and feeling validated, especially um, it can refer to romantic love. It can refer to platonic love. It can refer to familial love. It can kind of refer to a phase or a cycle or a time when all of that is available to you. And of course, as I mentioned, uh, I referenced earlier uh, here in the U.S. Uh, with Thanksgiving coming up, I'm in the U.S. obviously, um, that can be available uh, for all of us so many of us travel home to see family and then we might run into some old school buddies and then maybe an old crush or something the break can allow some of us a little extra time to reconnect with partners or spouses uh, as it applies there is typically a piece of the past that is connected with the six of cups so for anyone who does hear from an ex or I do apologize my neighborhood is very noisy right now I apologize if you can hear the helicopter over my apartment there is um, the sense of the past that is connected with the six of cups so if you do hear from an ex or from um, maybe one that almost was or one that got away um, it might be a good time to reconnect or to explore that just always remember you know typically if it didn't work in the past there's probably a good reason for it unless someone has really done work on themselves and can prove it it might be too risky to go back to someone who has not changed. So you do want to make sure that if you're exploring going back with an ex, they really have evolved. And also, it might be worth reflecting on whether or not you have evolved. There's, there's that too. Just throwing that out there. Also, uh, there is a little piece here about detox. The Four of Wands does suggest taking a little time out. Um, sometimes the Seven of Pentacles can indicate a time of hard work. Um, and, you know, some of us can, as much as we love spending time with family and friends, um, not all of us recharge around other people. So, uh, this detox moment can be about getting away from others or, or making sure we make time to decompress as we need to decompress. It can be about a spa day with friends. It can be, um, you know, taking a, a, a hike or, or something. Whatever you need to do to kind of um, give yourself a little uh, mental break uh, physical break, um, time, just a little time out. Uh, with the Four of Swords, um, there there is often a piece about getting clarity and time to process. And sometimes the the physical body, giving your physical body a little moment to release toxins helps your mind release some toxins too so consider consider a, a way that you can have a, a full detox and then finally uh, there's another challenge moment here that you're ready to rise to by month's end so as we're getting back into december you're you're fully back at it it seems like whatever this um seven of pentacles sort of 
getting ready for the harvest or getting ready for the karate kid moment, um, here you are having your uh, karate kid call. The seven of wands is a challenge. It's, it's something like an interview or an audition, but it's like, it's that one you've been waiting for. It's the moment where you stick up for yourself. It's it's kind of like that karate kid battle. <laughs> After this is kind of like the prep for it. This is the gosh, you got y'all, if you're not familiar with the karate kid, you're going to have to watch the movie now. But this is like that the the final battle, but like after the muscles are built. And in the 7 of wands, it's standing up for yourself it's a challenge but it's being ready for this challenge like this is the moment that you've been waiting for where you get to show what you're worth you get to show your stuff it's your time to shine especially for any Librans who are artists the suit of wands can be associated with uh, creativity with ambition passion our drive our ego also athleticism so if you're a rock star or an athlete this is like a rock star moment or a marathon moment you've got the skills you've been building them you've got the talent you've got the support behind you you've done your meditation your pregame meditation now you just got to show up and knock their socks off. You'll be ready, Libra. You'll be ready. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take good care of yourself. Until next time, bye for now.